Hi Ilya. How are you? Very good. Good. We are very happy to have you here again with us in Israel. And well actually you're going to play a Mozart concerto mm -hmm. um, in E flat major for two pianos yes. before his keyboard. And can you tell us a little bit about this piece? Mm -hmm. Uh, for me, playing Mozart is always really happiness. And especially this particular concert for two pianos is especially interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I have played this piece a few years ago with my previous teacher, Vladimir Kranev. He was playing the first piano and now this time I play this the first part. The, the, the first part. Mm -hmm. so, I always remember this experience with, with my teacher playing this piece and um, I have to say that uh, yeah, I enjoy very much playing it with uh, Boris as well. Yeah. Um, I think it will be really fun. Yeah, I'm sure it will be great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your opinion about uh, contemporary music? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, as uh, the young pianist, we really have to try to find and do research and put some new music in our repertoire and in the concerts. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like when we have to do so much efforts to learn a very short piece, mm -hmm. like it's often the case with the contemporary music. This upsets me a lot. <laughs> but nevertheless, I think it's necessary to discover the new composers. Do you have any, any, anyone special composer? Mm. Well, um, there is one composer, that, uh, one piece that I played by him, Chris DeFord. Mm -hmm. He calls uh, this piece called Treasure of Emotions. It's beautiful. So it was written a few years ago. There is beautiful music still that composer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, what do you want people to know about you as an artist? Oh, maybe I should <laughs> skip this question. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What is exactly the meaning of this question? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if people, would, what do you want them to think about you? when they see you uh, performing as an artist and uh, want to convey a message to them. Um. Mm. It's a really difficult question, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I want that uh, yeah. my sound uh, is like the voice of that, yeah, that talks to the public. Yeah. The sound that I can use. Like the inner sound of you? Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, how did you grow to play piano? How did you start it? Yeah, it's, um, because I come from a family where music was exist in our family. Yeah. Yeah, so my mother studied piano in conservatory, so we had a piano at home. So that's how it started. What age was were you? Like normal for people who become pianists later, <laughs> like around five years old. Five years old. Yes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, can you think of one special uh, piece or uh, event mm -hmm. that really influenced your career? Well, let's say it was uh, this year yeah. in, in, in Israel. It was a great experience for me. Uh, I got some new projects thanks to this competition. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had few this kind of experience in my life, but uh, this one was very important for me. Mm -hmm. okay. um, have you ever had a traumatic uh, or a frustrating experience with the conductor? Yeah, unfortunately, it happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe I remember the first time it happened when 
first time we first uh, Rachmaninoff third concerto. I was uh, 14 years old. 14 years old. Yes, and it was very difficult and traumatic experience <laughs> yeah. because the conductor asked me, "Do you know anything about love?" <laughs> you are 14 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see. Um, do you have um, any special uh, piece or orchestra or conductor that mm -hmm. you really dream of playing or playing with? Yeah, I'm dreaming to play with uh, Vladimir Ashkenazi, yeah. and probably I will do that next month. Oh, that's, <laughs> so that is very, very... It's just a rehearsal, but... Yeah, yeah I'm still it. I, I'm going to play it. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> um, so, are you planning on participating in another competition mm -hmm. soon or no more? <laughs> yeah, I, I think uh, I will participate. And you will know it at the right time <laughs> <Yeah>. about that. <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> um, if you had the chance to address the young audience, mm -hmm. the young generation, um, what would be your message about the classical music? How can you bring them closer to it? Mm. Yeah, you have to, the young generation has to do effort and really listen a lot of classical music. Mm. Even if they don't like. <laughs> they must. <laughs> yes. Mm. Mm. I think if you really educate yourself, you will come with time that you will need, you will have a need to listen to classical mm. music, which is very good. Um, who is your mentor? Do you have one? Mm. I think it was my teacher, Vladimir Krainov. He passed away. Yeah. But he is still somehow I feel from it. <laughs> yeah, if you yeah. can play. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, where do you see yourself ten years from now? Mm. Mm. I want to perform. I don't really want to be a teacher. Concerts. Concerts. That's my dream. Yeah. I hope it will come true. Yeah. Looks like <laughs> you're doing a very good job. <laughs> um, so to conclude the interview, mm -hmm. I would like to play a short game of okay. about associations. Mm -hmm. I will uh, read a word out loud, mm -hmm. and you can just say pops up. In the, mm -hmm. the first thing. Yeah, just the first thing. Um, Bach. Bach is a religion. religion. Church. German. <laughs> <laughs> Vacation. Vacation. First thing that came to my mind is Jamaica. Mm. I've been there. <laughs> the beach. Uh, etudes. Etudes. So you mean what we play? Probably it's for because I have to play it so many times. The it's least, different. least. Yeah. Uh, love. Love is definitely it's my wife. Your wife. Home. Home is Russia. Russia. Yes. Now we are based in. Not there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ilya Rashkovsky. Mm. Something not positive, unfortunately. <laughs> not positive. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time, and we are looking forward to hear you uh, at the concert in the marathon this weekend, mm. and uh, we 